So the goal of this tutorial is I'm going to explain with you how you can use the shapes, specifically the rounded shapes in After Effects. And we also going to cover like the exercises that I'm going to do that hopefully you're going to follow as well is to come up with this kind of thing. So currently we have three videos and like the goal is we wanted it to put inside the iPhone frame with like a white background on it because this is not a full like the, the, the frame size of the video doesn't really fit on the iPhone. So yeah, I'm going to show you how that works. And let me just put this keyframes in here because our, our look at that, our, our iPhone thing is moving. So let me just remove this keyframes here. And we will move this iPhone on the video to video one rather. So this is the video one, I believe. And by the way, you can isolate the um elements or the layers into your um com composition by clicking this circle or dots so that is the video okay that one and i'm probably going to change that with like i can do the naming thing really to brown so this one also is a brown and a brown okay so for the video too i can just copy paste again the iphone and put it in here and then I'm going to isolate it so I can move it easily move it back isolate it again so um right now is we want to add like a white frame in here because this doesn't look good it doesn't look like an iPhone a, a video inside an iPhone so um, here's where we can put in or insert a uh, rounded shape. So to insert a rounded shape, you just need to click this part in here. And if you want to, so by default, you will see the square shapes. And you can always press Q if you want to replace it with a different um, shape. So, but you can also long press this little arrow then you should be able to see these selections in here in case you cannot see these tools just go into the window section and make sure that the tools is checked so anyway i'm going to put in oh remove that so anyway i'm going to put in a um shapes in here and make sure when you do that do not put it on inside the frame otherwise it will create a mass so yeah i will just um uncheck or make sure that the, this arrow in here is outside your to any of the layers so let me press q q so it's rounded shapes and then i will um hold my mouse and if you think like if you want to change the roundness of your shapes you can always press the up key or the down key make sure that you still long press your mouse otherwise the this um selection like how it is adjusting will will not work if you um if you um if you release your mouse so i will trace um the shape so i think this one is already good okay i'm pressing by the way uh the up arrow so this is good then i can just move it in here and then we will so after you trace the shapes we can then rename this one with um white frame three and actually i just accidentally rename the video to video three should so this should be video two instead of video three and of course i need to change it to color white okay now other thing as well we can just uncheck this part in here for now um let's say you want to um really have create a complicated shapes you can again make sure that the mouse is outside to any frames 
and then you right click, click the new and click the solid and choose whatever like example shape. Just do that. And then after that, um, just point this solid shape that you created. We can move these solid shapes in here so it looks more cleaner. Actually, I can just put it yeah, here. And then let's say I'm going to trace it. So before you put you you trace your the shapes, make sure you point it on the solid layer that you just created so it will mask. So I'm going to um, press that. And then if you notice in here, um, after you, tr you put the shapes in there, there is like a mask one that is created. And then if you want to subtract it, instead of having that, it will kind of come up with a frame thing. But yeah, I'm going to click um, add there. And in case you want this to be, let me just use my hand tool there and make it 50%. So in case you want this to modify, what you can do for transform, what you can do is just press the parts. So click there, the points where you want to point, like change the shapes, how it looks. Okay, something like that. Or maybe you want to just remove some of the points that are not necessary. So use the, the pen tool um press hold press and then you can use the delete vertex if you want to remove some points that are not necessary um you can also use these converter vertex where you can adjust the points by curve or yeah something like that like this one by the way i'm just messing up but if you already understand how the um how the anchor points works in Photoshop, then you can easily um, figure out how this works. So yeah, um, you can always play around with this one. This shapes in here and this shapes in here should connect to each other. This is super helpful when you are trying to come up with like an abstract animation or a cartoon animation. And maybe you have a Victor file and you want to um, change the the anchor points in a specific keyframes then I would really suggest that you play around with the pen tool.